All right, what's going on, boys and girls? We are here with another video, and we're looking at a person who says this is why they left Windows for Linux. And I haven't seen anything. This is a very small channel. Um, this is like 146 views on this thing. So I am 100% curious to see why Homie here decided to bounce out of Windows to Linux because if I'm hoping there's some like good, good, solid reasons here, but you know. You never know. But let's roll in to see what he has to say about why he left Windows for Linux. Hello, everybody. It's Jordan Peter Scientist here, and today is the day that I'm leaving Windows. So I've actually been thinking about putting Linux on this for a very long time, and I've never actually did it because I was scared of a couple of things. One thing that I was scared of was video games. I've heard it a lot, you know, video games suck on Linux, but I don't even play video games a lot anymore. So that's a, a good thing, I guess. But <laughs> See Steam Deck. That's all I'm going to say. But also, um, I looked it up today. I could play a couple of Call of Duty games, you know, on Linux, and it shouldn't be a that, that much of a problem. So that's that's also another option that I'm going to do. Um, another thing that I've seen is uh, video editing. So I use Adobe and Adobe doesn't run on Linux, <laughs> guys. It doesn't. So that was thing I was scared of, but then they decided to charge me $50. I'm not paying that $50. So Linux has a couple of options for video editing softwares that I could try out. They're free. So I'm going to do that. Olive, Cinelier, Caden Live, Cinelier GG, let me rephrase. Caden uh, Live, Shotcut, Flowblade, those are the ones that come to mind right off if you want paid, Lightworks, and DaVinci Resolve. All free in one shape or form or another. The last two have limitations on what they support and export and a few other things. And what was the third thing? I don't really remember. I guess the third thing that I was scared of was just overall usability, you know, but I have Linux. I have Arch Linux, by the way, on my laptop. Right. And I use it for school. I'd be in the terminal. I use Arch, by the way, you know, floating around in there, changing directories. That's pretty much it. Using Vim, too. And I'm probably going to use Vim a lot more in some of my uh, YouTube videos from now on since I'm going to be in Linux. Um. I'm not going to be a complete newbie, but I'm also not going to be a complete, you know, God at this. I'm just. So the one thing I will be the first to tell you is anybody who says they're a God in Linux probably doesn't know what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> the day we stop learning in Linux is the day things you as a person stop progressing. It's going to be um, just throwing myself in there, you know. Uh, I feel like right now is the best time for me to do it because I don't really use my PC for schoolwork. So it's not like there's anything on here that I'm going to lose. It's all on my iPad, which is like the perfect thing for students. So um, without further ado, I'm about to install Linux. Uh, now, I'm not going to document the entire process because this isn't a tutorial, but I'm going to just kind of pop back in and I'm just going to be on Linux, hopefully. But this does also mean I have to redo OBS. I'm going to have to make sure that the camera's connected and make sure that the stream that, well, I'm probably not going to do that. I'm probably just going to get the, get like a simple um, setup on OBS just so I can show my face in the screen at the same time, I guess. And uh, then I'm going to start editing it in the next video. We're going to be back to normal. It's just that I'm going to be on Linux. So without further ado, Let's go. So I'm back and I'm on, I'm on Linux now, you know, um, I have yes, been <laughs> on Linux for a couple of days now, but I was trying to get, you know, an editing software together. And I was also <laughs> trying to make sure OBS was working perfectly fine. So I wouldn't have any problems when I do this, but instead I've had a lot of problems when I actually got OBS installed and everything um 
my my hotkeys wasn't working and i was trying to get it to work with the steam deck and it was working but then it stopped working and i honestly just don't feel like fixing it so um yeah i'm probably gonna i don't know what i'm gonna do with the steam deck but i'm just using my hotkeys with my keyboard because so i know there is something uh i can't remember the name of the app there is a application specifically for the stream deck for you to use in linux and i the name escapes me but i know it's available i mean i could have did that in the beginning instead of buying a steam deck but you know hey we're here now and also um other than that everything kind of worked perfectly fine i mean other than just now trying to get my mic to not sound so quiet but just out of curiosity, I'm assuming you're running Arch. You know, the only criticism I got, uh, you know, you mentioned that your laptop runs Arch, so I'm assuming you're running Arch on this. Specify what distro you you go to or jump to, so that way, if people, there are very few of us that do the reaction videos, um, we can actually give you help as we watch these and stuff. Um I'm not going to lie, you've gone about it the right way so far. Uh, you're not expecting Windows. You're not expecting Mac OS. You're not expecting iPad or iOS, iPad OS or Android, etc. So that initial fear was totally understandable. And that's the one that a lot of people can't get over. Um, I just increased the gain and, and called it a day. So, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's what's going on. Uh, that wasn't really computer science related so i don't know why i told you all that but let's just slide on in the in into my my os you know what i'm saying um obviously i'm on two screens but um i'm only going to show you one using gnome that's, that's, that's what we're on but let's let, let's go to where where all the magic happens you know what i mean the graphical user interface you mean the terminal you know <laughs> you know okay all right all right all right, all right look those are all of my files slash um um folders you know um i don't have anything in here uh I, that's pretty cool like let's let's let, let's create a file called c plus plus you know why not so to do that you do a mkdir or mic directory <laughs> cpp i'm just gonna call it that and let's let's cd into cpp you know what i mean now here, what are we gonna do? We're gonna create a program. Not not a hard program, just a just a simple one that just prints out hello. Cause that's what we on right now, you know? And let's uh enter numbers at the bottom. I think that's what I do. I forgot. Is it set number? Set number. Yeah, okay. Obviously I forgot a little bit, but yeah, you know, set number. And then let's um let's just include wow i didn't even do anything right so let's let's hit the hashtag and include io stream i'm sorry sometimes mm -hmm. i actually forget and then using namespace uh std so i don't have to keep doing you know the c out thing and then int main whoops uh whoops and then int main let's do that bring that down there do that go up return zero yep go back go down down and then just c out you know simple uh hello world and honestly let's just do a little backslash just because we don't want the program to look ugly because they do tend to do that sometimes am i right okay <clears throat> now escape colon wq now we're gonna g plus plus hello dot cpp that's to compile it by the way and, you know i'm a little linux user myself you know i've been here for a while <laughs> on my laptop not on the pc and now what are we gonna do you're right that slash a dot out and hello world is right there wow sorry okay it's gonna show me everything all right yeah hello world it's right there I, I really like the whole vaporwave aesthetic i think it's nice you know um this is this is really cool you know and you just type in code and, and what's gonna happen you open up vs code right there you know i had a little small javascript program right here it's not really doing a lot it's really just um <laughs> it's just adding a number of time oh well, plus eight that's, that's really all it does uh you run that you get 15. um yeah man this is 
This is nice. This is real nice. I use um, DuckDuckGo now instead of Google, and I still use Vivaldi because it's, uh, it's the perfect web browser. I don't care what anyone says. Oh, it's not open source. I think it's perfect for me. Vivaldi you know is fantastic. I mean? This is this is a good time. Um, as soon as it loads. And I will also state, go watch the episode where the folks over at Destination Likes talk to the CEO of Vivaldi. And they talk and ask specifically about that open source question. Yeah, look at that. Look, look, look at look at the art. It's not really a lot, but it's something. Um, yeah, I'm satisfied so far. Um, I haven't really ran into any major problems other than the fact that I can't, you know, play Rocket League or. Um, well, I think I can play Rocket League actually. I'm about to try that now after I edit this video and plop it up on youtube also i haven't used gimp yet so that's going to be a, a learning curve in itself i don't know what else to talk about so i'm just going to end the video thank you for watching um i just kind of wanted to show you guys that uh i'm on linux now uh didn't really have anything else to make a video about so this is what it's on <laughs> um don't forget to like comment and subscribe join my discord and um follow me on twitter Jordan the CS. Don't follow me on Instagram. I'm going to delete that at some point. And yeah. Thank you for watching. So not a whole lot going on in the video. And that's fine. Um, you know, showing some of his uh, terminal Kung Fu and all that stuff. Program preferences. You know, he's using GNOME. So, you know, my, my sympathy is there. Kidding, Cho choose your desktop, use what you will, don't care. Um, good choice on Vivaldi because the one thing I will say is Vivaldi in development makes Linux distros a first class citizen as they develop it. That's the only that's my biggest reason I support Vivaldi as a web browser on Linux and I use it personally. So totally get the love for Vivaldi, especially if you're a power user and you want to customize the crap out of it, you can by default. It's like, <laughs> it's the best bra KDE style browser you can get. <laughs> um, so I don't, I don't have anything to say as far as his reasoning for switching. Uh, like I said, there is an app for the stream deck, I think is what you were saying. Cause the steam deck is the, you know, Linux powered console valve puts out uh, as far as rocket league. Yes. Rocket league does work on Linux. Uh, depending on the version you have, you have the steam version, which is no longer for sale, which I'm assuming you, that's the one you have. When you fire that up, right click on, uh, rocket league in the game selection area there. Right click and go to compatibility and change it to whatever the newest version of Proton is. And then click, you know, okay, close, whatever. And there might be a download. Let it let it do its thing and you will have some better results. Uh Epic basically has broken the crap out of the native build. From my last experience with um using specifically Rocket League native on Linux. So just my recommendation is use Proton to fix that problem. Or if you have the EGS version or you use the EGS version, go down, go download the Heroic Games Launcher. That'll give you GOG and that'll give you Epic all rolled into one on Linux. And you don't deal with a lot of the nonsense. And you can access the storage from right in the uh, actual app. So other than that, uh, Cool. No, no gripes, no reasons, no yelling, no screaming. Sorry, guys, if you're expecting that, you just ain't going to get it this episode. He, he had his reasons for switching. He came into it with an open mind. He overcame some, some anxiety and fears and was willing to jump into it. So that's the mentality you have to have on anything you do. Doesn't matter if it's technology, life in general. So other than that, I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.